Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ. Our reading is a familiar one. It's from John chapter 14, reading verse 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. Here's a question for you. What has 90,000 square feet, 23 bathrooms, 13 bedrooms, 10 kitchens, a 20-car garage, three pools, a bowling alley, an indoor roller rink, a two-story movie theater, a video arcade, a fitness center, a baseball field, and two tennis courts? Give up? No, it's not the newest uh, resort that's been built. It's Versailles. Not, not the Versailles in France, but the Versailles built by tycoon David Siegel. Siegel made his fortune in the uh, timeshare business when it was booming. <clears throat> but then when the timeshare business got clobbered, he had to stop building this mansion. And now it's for sale for a measly $75 million. And if you want it completely finished, it'll only cost you $25 million more. Now, no poll has ever been taken about uh, our, the assets of those who watch or uh, read these Shepherd's Moments with me. But I think it's safe to assume none of us can afford that. Now, the point is this. If I can't scrape together the money to buy an earthly home like that, how in the world could I afford a mansion in heaven? I have to admit that if those mansions of heaven were f bought and furnished by what I did, they are going to stay empty for eternity. But thanks be to God that those mansions were not bought and furnished by anything that we do or don't do, but solely done by Jesus Christ, God's only Son. The down payment was made by his Bethlehem birth. The daily upkeep is furnished and made by his perfect obedience and his death. And the final payment will be made when we are ushered home. Those mansions have our names on it because of God's grace and goodness to us. In his third day resurrection, Jesus assures us that we too will rise and that there will be a place with our name on it and we'll be able to move in free of charge, lock, stock, for all eternity. We pray. Dear Jesus, without you, my eternity should have been spent roaming the vastness of hell that it won't be is due to you. May I show my appreciation for your blood-bought gift by the way I lead my life. May it be filled with thankfulness in your name. Amen. Well, my friends, be assured there is a mansion waiting for you with your name on it for all eternity. <laughs>